And moving on to another story we're tracking the world is awaiting the news of the capture of LTTE Supremo Prabhakran, while so far there is no sign of him. Well, NDTV traveled to the Kolam district in Kerala to trace his family, and 77-year-old Janki has made an appeal to her cousin Prabhakran, the leader of the Tamil Tigers, to surrender. Janaki Amma, LTTE chief Prabhakaran's cousin, was very of us when we said we were from a news channel. She showed us a postcard sent to her mother by her uncle from Jaffna 56 years ago. The letter said her uncle, Velu Pillai, has named his baby boy Prabhakaran. Janaki Amma says that was the last her family heard from her uncle. She's never met or spoken to Prabhakaran, but is now asking him to lay down arms. <laughs> Janaki Amma says she did not realize her cousin Prabhakaran was the same Prabhakaran the world knows as the LTTE chief until 1991 when investigating agencies knocked at her door for an inquiry after Rajiv Gandhi was killed. This house in Kollam district once belonged to Prabhakaran's father. Later, he sold it and left for Sri Lanka, after which Janaki Amma and her family moved to this hut. In Kollam, with Max Inajay, Radhika Ayer, NDTV.